Okay, good. Oh, I see. Good morning, everybody. Good to have you here today. How's everybody doing? I am pleased to be on with you today with a good friend of mine from across the ocean. Uh, Denmark, is it, Baz? The Netherlands. Netherlands. There we go. There we go. So uh, we're going to have an opportunity to uh, hear from Baz today. He's going to uh, share with us some of his expertise, some of his experiences. I'm very, very stoked to be having an interview with Baz because uh, he and I have gone through some experiences together even though he's an ocean away and uh if you're here with me live you're more than welcome to ask some questions or ask baz some questions go ahead and chime in if you so choose and uh, if you're in the replay go ahead and uh, hit hashtag replay let us know where you're listening or watching from and uh for those of you that know me uh i am still going to introduce myself i am dean brown powerful dad holistic life coach online digital marketer. I'm a brother to those that know me and a friend to those that don't. I help better dad I help dads be better dads, start and or build six and seven figure businesses along the way. And as a life coach, I make sure you have the right mindset as you go. So here we go. Uh Baz, welcome my friend. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dean. It's uh, wonderful uh, to have this opportunity to uh Share some uh, some of our common grounds and our experiences, and uh, I'm very pleased. Thank you. Awesome, and uh, it, it's, it was a true honor to have you say yes. I'd like to be interviewed. So uh, you know, and uh, it's seven o'clock here in the morning in uh, in Canada, and I think you said it's one o'clock in the Netherlands yes. for you, brother. Yes. Yeah, yes, it is. So it just goes to show you how far apart we are in the world. So the first thing I'm going to ask you, Baz, is to uh, share with me uh, your specific area of expertise and the story about what happened in your life to uh, inspire you to begin what you're doing. Go ahead, brother, and share that with us. Okay. So uh, currently, I'm a, well. I'm an ex, uh, executive life coach, and I work with uh, uh, senior and executive uh, managers to create balance in their life, and I, I do that starting from a point where I do think that you need to have the right foundation of energy, nutrition, sleep, uh, your physical and mental health. Um, if the foundation is not there, it's very difficult to to build any kind of leadership uh, or to be an example for, well, for yourself and for the people around you, whether that is uh, your team, your colleagues, uh, or your family or your social uh, social relations. Um, so I, um, what I do with my clients will look at that at the foundation first. If you know some people need a lot more work than others there, and uh, if they if they don't, I mean we can go straight into uh, what what is bothering them, whether that's being overweight or how do I show up as a leader. Um, and how uh, can I build better relationships with people in my uh, in my career or in my life? Or is this the career I still want to do? I have this company. You know, I've been working on it for 60 hours a week. Is that how I want to continue for the next uh, 20 years or for the autumn of my life? You know, do I want to leave a legacy? Um, yeah, those questions then can be answered. I think it's very difficult to build uh, something if your foundation isn't right. So how did I uh, how did I get there? Um, I've had several careers. I started off in 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 hospitality, uh, where I did work uh, in the beginning of my career, 100 hours a week. I was smoking like a chimney, uh, two packs a day. Um, yeah, I knew that that was going to kill me. You know, if, if I was going to continue that, I was uh, not going to make it to 40. Uh, I was early 20s at the time. Uh, so uh, for me, um, although I've always loved hospitality and I love the service element of it, um, and that's, I mean, it's definitely something that, I'm, that I've taken along all my career, uh, which I'm doing in coaching now as well. I mean, I'm... I'm servicing people, um, and I want to do that right. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So um, that not being sustainable, I moved into into trading, financial trading on the financial markets and dealing rooms uh, in several countries in Europe. Um, 
but there I was missing like a true connection. You know, what is the bigger purpose? We were moving billions from one side of the world to the other side and then back and taking the tiniest margin, but there was no like real fulfillment. You know, the money was good, life was good, but um, it was very, uh, in the material sense, it was very good. Not so much in a, in a mental or in a spiritual spiritual challenging yeah, uh, yeah. shallow right? work eh? it was shallow exactly exactly yeah. i was yeah. missing cool. purpose you know and yeah. uh, um, so through a long journey i uh, um going through all these things myself building the right foundation i now come to a point where like i can i can help help people or i can help people how to how to do this you know and uh, it was a circumstance well, for you where you, you kind of got to that place where you knew that there was something missing and you felt that you had to, to go back to yourself and build that up and change gears and switch, you know, direction and find something more fulfilling for yourself so you could find that and help other people find that for themselves is what I'm thinking you're trying to say. Absolutely, absolutely. I, uh, when I wasn't working in, 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 uh, on the trading floor, I, it felt like living in a golden cage and uh, um, getting out of that cage uh, took me, I would say, two to three years. Uh, and once I did, I mean, I felt so free. And uh, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll still remember till today how I was sitting on my flight to Rio de Janeiro to spend uh, three months and figure out what I was going to do with uh, with the rest of my life. But I was I mean, I collapsed basically, you know, I, I cried the whole flight <laughs> and I was like, what, is, what the fuck? Why did I think this was a good idea? But uh, I think that was just uh, uh, letting go of all the uh, beliefs I'd built up that I couldn't make, couldn't take that step or couldn't do it. Um, and also a bit, it's like, okay, what is the future going to bring for me? You know, the insecurity, which I now was facing. Uh, my sabbatical took two years. I didn't, in those two years, I did not uh, find my purpose because knowing, well, looking at it now, I wasn't doing the inner work that, that I needed to do to be able to find that purpose. Yeah. So, um so I at that, back. yeah, I was I just going to say at, at that point, I was just going to ask you, so we're kind of leading up to a spot where you might've learned a lesson, something that inspired you. So what would you think would have been your biggest lesson and how did that help you decide your, or find your inner purpose? Well, so I, after the, this two year sabbatical, I went back into finance as a consultant, uh, still, well, still knowing that that wasn't what I wanted to do. But at the same time, I, I started changing my uh, exercise, exercise uh, well, regime, you know, I moved from, from, from uh, two, three times a week to six times a week, started training with a personal trainer, doing CrossFit. I moved that really up to the next level. Excellent. Uh, I, I started, uh, like over the years, I, I even started competing in CrossFit, uh, uh, in CrossFit, CrossFit, uh, matches, games. Um, but doing that, you know, I also needed to work on my nutrition. And one, once I got that right, I, I felt there was a need for some mental, mental growth as well. Um, so I went through various uh various coaches i went to uh the school of the work of byron katie i've i've been to uh several seminars of joe dispenza i'm doing wim hof uh ice bath uh and i've I, you know i've i made it uh uh like a balanced uh thing for me which works mm -hmm. for me and then at one of the events of, of joe dispenza uh, I met this woman and she started talking about lifestyle coaching. And that was like, for the first time, I was like, okay, you know, this is something I can, this is something I can do. You know, people had 
told me you need to become a personal trainer or a nutritional expert and i was like that's just not my thing you know it's that that's just too it's too narrow for me uh, so i i started doing this this course six months course and uh, um i loved it i mean i, I knew i was gonna love it uh, uh because of because of what it was about but uh, then I kind of went into, I got my first client and it went from lifestyle coaching straight into life coaching. Uh, so, I, I mean, you get the clients that are, that you are ready for, or, uh, uh, you know, they'll come with questions you, yeah. Yeah. you can answer, you know. That's right. Uh, so people weren't coming to me. It's like, you know, how do I drink less or how do I quit smoking? You know, they are just like, they came with their lives. So, there you um, go. There you go. so when it comes to your life, what would have been your yeah. biggest, uh, who would have been your biggest inspiration? The person that you feel had gave you the most direction, share that with us. It doesn't have to be somebody, you know, could it be an author? It could be somebody from history. It could be a family member. Who do you feel was your biggest inspiration? Well, it's, I had one coach, um, and he, he is the one who introduced me to, uh, to Byron Katie and to Joe Dispenza. Cool. So, um, if he hadn't been there, I would not have gone there. Um, but like, if I, um, if I look at what has the most, like, of the people, of no, let's say of people's work that I've implemented or that I've done the most, I would say it's Byron Katie's work. I've done, I've been to her, I've been to her school of the work, and I think I've done like three hundred sessions afterwards as a coach and a coachee with people that I've met that have been to the school of the work as well. Nice. And, uh, um, her tool is just. Yeah, it's so simple, and so. Uh, I love those four questions. They are so straightforward. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. and the turnarounds. I mean, you know, every time you you get stuck in your head, and you can do a, a turnaround. Uh, yeah, it just takes takes the 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 negativity out of it so quickly. Yeah. Uh, I, I found I really found that when you when you are willing to do that turnaround when you're being given the option to realize that, wait a second, there's another side to this stick. I, a lot of the things that I teach, it's, it's two and two different ends of the same stick. And, yeah. Right. When you're stuck on that one end, just turn the stick around and focus on the other end. And that's where a, a lot of your great truths will come from. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. I know. I mean, just like whatever situation you're in, and you you make a statement to another person or within your within yourself, you know, just asking the question, is it true? Yeah, it's, it's already so it's so powerful because you have. Uh, it takes a moment to reflect where otherwise you'll just be like in this. I mean, you you get into this storm where now you just say, no, hold on. Is this really true? And then, you know, if you're not sure, it's like, is it really true? Exactly, <laughs> like, exactly. it will give you another moment to, uh, and then, I mean, that's like, well, how how many seconds is that? Like two, five, six seconds? And you have, uh, uh, you know, you have a moment to, yeah, to reflect and to choose, to choose something else, you know. Yeah, to like, absolutely. Okay, you know, I'm, uh, I'm jumping on this, like, train and I'm going to go crazy. Or you'll be like, no, you know, let me, let me. Take a step back. Think what I, what I, what I want to do instead. Uh, what do I want to feel? What do I want to choose? What do I want the outcome to be? Awesome. Now so, uh, here's a question for you. So yeah, uh, talking about that, th there's always things that people believe, myths that that get in the way. What would be the biggest myth in your uh, experience that you'd like to debunk or, or teach people not to believe in? Um, that's a very good question. Um, what's the one thing that's made the biggest difference for you? The thing that that turnaround, the one that's 
you realized that you were believing the wrong, what you would have called the truth, and you came to realize that that was actually a, a limiting belief, what was what it would have been the biggest one for you, maybe? Well, the thing is, I mean, yeah, I would say at many times in my life, I thought I couldn't do it. And the moment you start uh, switching to I can, you know, you can. That's right. Quitting smoking two packs a day, I thought I, for years I couldn't do it. And I switched my mind and I did it from one day to the next. Uh, I stopped drinking. That was a bit of a, uh, that took that took longer. But my first weekend that I wasn't going to drink, you know, I thought it was like going to be the worst weekend of my life. <laughs> uh, not that I was like getting like completely sh shit faced, but, you know, just not having these like three, four, five drinks on, on a Saturday night or on a Friday night uh, was like, you know, let's, you know, let's skip from Friday to Monday and then, yep. you know, we'll, yep. Friday, the next Friday will come and I can drink again, you know, and, uh, uh, but now it's, um, yeah, I, you know, I I didn't think I could do that, you know, taking acting classes. I was like, okay, oh my God, you know, I, I, I can't do that either. Uh, and it's like, it's with all these things, you know, now I'm taking a, uh, uh, as you know, I'm I'm jumping in into cold water three times a week in the open water. It's seven degrees Celsius. Um, that's cold water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's very cold water. Yeah. But then it's like, like all these, you know, I I, I talk to this, I talk about this to other people, and they're like, you know, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. It's like, right. no, you can. You know, it's not. If you want, you can. You want to lose right. thirty kilos? You can. You know. Uh, so what would be to, what would you be your biggest uh, piece of advice if someone was uh, if you find that you share more than anything else? What what is the one thing that you find yourself helping other people with the most? What is that bit of advice that you would share? Just be curious and willing to challenge your own beliefs, basically around these well sm smaller things and then move and then as they start to to shift work to work work to work towards the bigger things yeah and um yeah you definitely can i mean the thing is if you if you're a big uh, let's say you're a big meat eater you know and going from that to vegan tomorrow is it's going to be very difficult but if you do it gradually, you can be vegan in a year. I mean, not that I'm advocating uh, uh, to be vegan, but... Um, as an example. As, as an example, yeah, that's everybody's choice. But yeah. I mean, I've changed my diet to a more vegetarian diet. Do I want to go vegan? Not now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day I will. But uh, uh, yeah, it's also... I, you know, I do eat like meat or fish very rarely, but I, but I still do eat it. And it's also, that's maybe another thing, you know, don't be, you don't have to get a perfect score. You know, that's you also go. what a lot of, what a lot mm -hmm. of people think, you know, if I, if I become a vegan, I have to be vegan for the rest of my life. You know, if you're 99 days out of the year, 99 days out of a hundred, you're vegan and the, and the hundred day you you eat a piece of meat are you now all of a sudden not a vegan anymore yeah i think yeah. you're still a vegan you know right right so uh, uh, taking that into account how would you uh consider maybe someone that wants to be a life coach like yourself i'm sure that you're quite enjoying it i'm sure that uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's something that you've uh you've found your place in how what piece of advice would you give someone that wants to pursue that sort of career do you have anything special in mind that you'd like to share Um, well, yeah, you need to, well, you need to, you, you need to live your, uh, your talk. You need to, you need, you need to walk your talk. Good point. If Good you, point. uh, uh, if you can't show, I mean, if you can't show it to, to a certain extent, extent, it's going to be very difficult for people to buy into your story. You don't need to be perfect. I mean, I'm still like 
you know, I'm doing, I'm doing a, a workshop on, on life balance. Um, but I'm still figuring out, you know, or fine tuning my balance and I do get out of balance. Sure. Um, we all do. We all do. All, it's, all it's, the time. So it's it's one of the biggest to, challenges we have in life is to be able to, to realize that in order to, to, to help other people grow, we have to learn how to grow ourselves. And to, to be able to teach other people how to grow, we have to remember what it was that we thought before we started to grow and that transition into the realization of, hey, this is something I need to do. And uh, I think that's pretty powerful when it comes to uh, to helping other people in their lives. So when it comes to helping other people in their lives, is there one thing specifically that you're trying to accomplish? Like for me, uh, I, I wanna reach a certain number of people before I you know, go back to the spirit. And I want to help them transform their lives in regards to what they want to do. What would be the one thing that you're trying to do with your career? I I, I love working one on one with people because um, for me that's the most yeah you have the most profound and real connection. Uh, but what I do what I do like about it or what I do want to achieve is, is that they they pay it forward. You know, right. their their teams, their families, their friends, they are affected by it. Um, and that's really something I do focus on with my clients as well. It's like, you know, not only creating a different life from from them for their from them for themselves, but also like finding and seeing the, the, the signals that other people are responding to their renewed energy and whatever yeah. wherever that energy is showing up yeah. Yeah. Uh, because it's you know in the beginning they're always like oh it's a coincidence that these people say this to me or that these people respond to me in x y that way but i think it's no it's not a, it's not it's not a it's not a coincidence you know you've been showing up differently for the last couple of weeks couple of months and of course people are going to show show up different to you you know if you if you have more energy uh, at work or uh, then that's something you're going to take back home into your relationship and your yeah. your partner is going to respond differently you know if you start asking different life questions you know you'll 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 talk to your partner about it and that will start a spark or and then they will be like okay you know he he or she's doing that you know should i maybe change my approach a little bit and yeah. then you know both of you just move up to the next level you know you Beautiful. might be a little bit faster but the other one is coming behind setting the example uh, paying it forward yeah exactly for me i find a lot of the times uh people say you like i've heard the phrase you spend too much time or you spend too much money and i'd I like to think of it as circulate because there's mm -hmm. nothing really disappears i mean what you give you get back and the, the mm -hmm. more the more passion that you give it with the more it kind of sort of called makes babies and come comes back and, and you know exponentiates while it's out there and then comes back into your life again so uh in that um what would uh, you think would be one of the biggest challenges that you've faced in in recent times that you've that you've found that has been really inspirational and will help you move forward the biggest like a lot of people use the word failure and i prefer to use it as a call it a lesson so what would, mm -hmm. what would what would be your biggest lesson in the last little while that's that's had an influence on your your career and, and the way you look at life in general? Um, yeah, the thing is, I I never really like look back at my at my life and and think in in, in failure. It's like you know things things happen to me i made choices yeah looking back i would have made different choices you know if i i, I what i told you about my sabbatical would i i probably would with the knowledge i have now i would would have approached it differently but i didn't have that knowledge at the time so um is that then a failure no, but it was a very good lesson. I mean, I'm I'm very happy I did that. I didn't stay in 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 the in my golden cage or in the safety that I had or or all the uh, 
the, like the peer pressure or the, 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 the like the social norms, you know, you need to have a job, you have a good job. Why are you giving up a good job why, uh, to, to, to chase what are you, do you believe in fairy tales, you know, whatever people <laughs> say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it was also, it's like, it's also always like fear for me is a very good uh, guidepost. You know, when I'm afraid of something, I know I, I kind of need to go there uh, and to overcome it. And yep. then I'll find the freedom I'm looking for. Um, yep. Absolutely. So, th I mean, that's, that's it for me. And I do, have, and, and I have faced um, some of those fears. So, let's, I mean, failure would be more for me something like if I would not be willing to face like a certain fear. Right you know, to to go out there and like because I'm limiting myself. Uh, that's right. That's right. So and that us, would be yeah. That would be bad if you don't face your fears. It's always bad because that's the universe giving you that emotion that hey, wait a second, there's something here for you to learn. So I agree with that 100. percent Speak mm -hmm. about rejection. How do you feel about rejection with respect to how it builds our characters? Do you you want to share that with us? For for me personal or more yeah, in, sure. in general and for, for a client uh, in general and for how how you feel about rejection what is it so is it something that that uh, that uh, people should be aware of is is a, as a stepping stone to a to, to the next level in your opinion um yeah I, I mean rejection and the fear of rejection is. Uh, it, yeah, it, it's always it's it's always there, you know. And I see it in in like most of my clients. And, and I don't, I mean, I honestly I don't think I know anyone that doesn't have a fear of rejection. Um, and if you can somehow incorporate it, that you know you you know you'll have your basket of rejection. And you're what what's the what's the, the opposite of rejection? Right. What is the opposite of acceptation? So I, I mean, acceptance. yeah, being acceptance. So at the yeah. end of the day, both baskets are full, you know. But we're like, and that's just how it's going to happen every single day. But we just keep looking at that, you know. We're so fearful of that rejection basket uh, filling up, you know, that we even forget to look at where we're being accepted. Yes. Um. um so yeah, I mean, making that switch um, is great, and I mean, of. And of course, you know, I, I, I am, uh, yeah, I don't like rejection either. Uh, <laughs> and that's a story. I mean, there's more like the story I, I, I create for myself um, after being rejected. I mean, uh, it's a really, it's a really rejection. You know, if someone says, no, because they say yes to something else. You know, are they really rejecting me? You know, if you, re uh, you know, apply the question: Is it true? And like exactly, exactly. Most of the time, most of the time, it's it's not true. That's so, right. Uh, and That's even right. if it is, you know, what can you learn from that? And what did the, uh, uh, how would you show up differently? You know, what is the universe telling you that you're being rejected in this moment? Um, Perfect. Perfect. That's, uh, yeah, I mean. So I know you do workshops, and I have a feeling that you, you have a workshop coming up. Did you want to share with us what your next workshop is? Yeah, my uh, my next workshop is uh, uh, how to create balance and how to keep it. Um, it's going to be December 15th. Uh, that's at 6.30 Central European time. So I think that's. 12:30 your time? I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Did, uh, will that be on your Facebook page? I just put up the the uh, link for your Facebook page. Is that going to be uh, shared in your in your Facebook? Yeah, it will be there, but it's not there yet. But I'll I'll, I'll make sure I'll I'll put it there. So what mm -hmm. is it? What is the workshop about? The workshop is really about like how I mean I see individuals as unique. Uh, they're all unique, and so is your balance. I mean. Uh, you know, we buy, we, we, you and I might, uh, 
have similar ages and uh but you're uh, you're a father i'm not you know you're in a relationship you you i'm not so that's already that's already different you know that's already uh create a different need well the need for the balance is still there but the balance will be different you know you Absolutely. will be spending you, you will be spending your time different than i will you know Absolutely. because i don't have to i just don't have to take care of children uh, or I don't you, think you're lucky guy you <laughs> <laughs> but I mean so like just 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 because of these like simple things it's it's already different yes. so um, yeah. but you still have the need and now uh, in in the workshop I I show you how you can create that through mindset nutrition energy uh, and your physical and mental health um, awesome Awesome. So, so yeah, that sounds like awesome. a good workshop. I'm looking forward to. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a chance to join in there with you. And uh, by all means, put that on your You're Facebook page. Uh, thank you, brother. Thank you. And here's you, this is your uh, link to your lap, uh, to your website. And uh, with that in mind, is do you have something that you'd like to uh, to promote right at this point in time to to bring to people's attention so that they can go to your website and take advantage of it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm. Um, mm, I think I, I I hope I give a, a little bit of a clear picture of what I do. Yeah. Uh, so I coach Absolutely. I coach people one on one. Um, it's usually like a three month period, um, and we'll we'll work on on all of these things, uh, depending on on what comes up or what uh, what shows up and what you need for uh, your unique uh, life, or whatever stage you're in uh whatever question you have uh whether you just want to be i mean happy or you want to be you want to make a career choice or you want right. to create more balance or you want to create uh, uh more energy in your life or better sleep or um it doesn't really i mean it doesn't matter but step by step we'll get to a point where you you'll be operating from a higher level Beautiful. And that's and it, what I. Uh, that's what you do, and it looks like you cover all the bases. You don't leave anything out. That's awesome. No. That's awesome. No. Uh, and what would you think would be your one expertise, your one thing that you're better at teaching? Um, or is it all? You're you're damn good at everything. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> well, that that would be that 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 would that's a nice compliment. But no, well, no, I, no. That's why I, I feel with you, brother, because you're so accomplished and you're so capable. I just wondered if there was one thing that you felt that you had a greater strength in. Is there? I think I'm really good at like going down to to where it hurts the most, and that's where we that's where we start, and uh, you know, just removing that uh, life will change so quickly. Uh, and you know all my clients say uh, it was so easy to do i never expected it that it was going to go so smoothly and um uh, i should have done this like years ago um like some people you know they've come and they'll they're i mean i don't I, I totally understand their fear you know they think they have to 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 turn around 100 degrees and become a completely different person overnight um and that's no i mean at the end you're still the same person yep. just over operating from from uh, from a higher level uh with a higher what? energy and that yeah, that i mean that's coming back to you 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 yep. you uh you're a big believer of the law of attraction yes um so you know what i mean you know, if you're operating from a higher level it, that will come back to you you, know, That's right. you cannot like be operating from a higher level and get all the low shit to you. You know, that's, that's, right. not, that's, that's not happening. No, no, that was, right. I mean that would go to other people. I mean, but uh, 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 yeah, because yeah. they're operating there. You know, exactly. uh, and, and you mentioned how you don't need to do a full turnaround in one day. That's that reminded me of the uh, analogy about how do you eat an elephant. 
one bite uh -huh. at a time, right? Yeah, one bite exactly. at a time, you know? Exactly. So exactly. it's all about doing that one step at a time thing and, and having a great, you know, realizing that, hey, wait a sec, I was successful at that one thing and it wasn't that disastrous. It wasn't that difficult. You might have, uh, you know, been through some rejection, as we mentioned before. You might have had a bit of fear, as we mentioned before. But in the end, uh, you learn that lesson. You realize that, wait a second, like Byron Katie teaches, is that really true? Right. So it's, you know, it's a great transformational awareness where we are able to get to the other side and think, look back and go, oh, that was, you know, I actually enjoyed that. And it wasn't that difficult. So, yeah, I hear what no. you're coming from, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're getting close. We're actually over our time. Is there uh, one last thing okay. that you wanted to share with everybody before we break off? No, no, no. I, I just want to thank you for uh, for the opportunity. I, I love this conversation. Um, and I love your energy. Um, thank you, brother. Thank you, you so too. much. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing your workshop and uh, making sure that everybody has a chance to uh, connect with you. I'm just going to put the link up one more time. There's going to be lots of people watching the replay. So we'll uh, make sure that they have the opportunity to go by the links with your Facebook and your website and uh, who you are and the fact that uh, you have an opportunity to i mean it's a global global market these days so we're all helping people from all over the world just like you and i are having this interview where you're you're uh, in denmark and i'm here in in, in ontario the canada netherlands i'm geographically challenged i'm sorry <laughs> that's no problem i think you need to go to denmark Oh, do I? That's what the universe is telling you, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> could be, could be. I might find my greatest next level there, right? Who's to say? <laughs> <laughs> You're always right. welcome in the Netherlands as well. Huh? It's only awesome. like uh, 500 kilometers apart. But, oh, uh, well, that's not so bad. Maybe that's why I'm getting it mixed up because they're so close geographically. I don't know. But yeah. uh, that, that's awesome, brother. I really appreciate having you on today. And thank you very much for your insight and your expertise. And that was been, that's been a really good conversation. And um, there you go. Awesome. All right, thank ladies you. and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Good luck. Baz Labette, my friend from Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye now.